Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. What I want to go through today is a really awesome, awesome uh, piece of analysis. I was uh, emailed by someone who watched an earlier scenario analysis uh, video and they said, hey, how about this scenario? This is a scenario that I actually want to run in my business. What they wanted to do was they wanted to see what the returns would be or what the returns would have been, either it could be uh, historical or, or forecasted, if you reduce the price of one product or a group of products and then through that discount, you could check how much your profits or your uh, sales would be if that increased demand for your other products. And so that's a real life scenario, right? You might want to reduce the price of something and then that's going to bring more people to your store. And ultimately, then they might buy a wider portfolio of, of uh, products. So your sales or the demand for your products in general may go up for all those non-selected products or for those non-discounted products. So this is some some really some real life scenarios that you can actually an, analyze inside of Power BI. So what I'm going to do today, instead of actually going through step by step every single individual calculation that uh, I've done and lay it out and then create the visualization, so I've already set it up here, um, and I'm just going to run through how I did it. So let's first of all see the functionality here, and this is a, I guess a good time to say that this is going to be made available inside of the Enterprise DNA training uh, portal. So the details are below in the description. Um, all you got to do is enroll and you'll get access to this one and a whole raft of other resources from all videos from Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, so what I've done here, what I've done, I've set up, I've set this up where we can change the price of a selected product. So we can either go minus 2%, 5%, 10%, 20%, 20%. So with nothing selected, that I guess is, is telling us that that um, everything is selected. So, not, so nothing is selected currently. So you see here that the uh, the change in sales is basically down twenty percent because it's saying we're reducing the price of everything down twenty percent. But what I want to do is I want to be able to isolate which products we change the price on. So if I select say product one here, I only want to change that price down twenty percent. But then I want to, on the on the flip side here, of all the non-selected products, I want to say, well, the, dem the demand could increase by a certain percentage. So I might select this and I'll say, well, okay, product one, we've reduced the price by 20%. And I think because of that, we're going to see an 8%, we're going to see an 8% increase in demand for all the other products. So what is that going to do to the overall sales performance? And you can see here that we can see that the sales have increased by doing this. And we can see here, we can see uh, a percentage of um, increase on total sales through th through time. Okay, so let's step through some of the formula that uh, I used to actually create this. Now, first of all, we've obviously, uh, this is historical. So I've just uh, cal gone and calculated total sales. And then uh, the, next, the next step I did is I needed to work out, well, what were the total sales of just the selected products. So I've got uh, I've got this to total selected of scenario sales and you'll see here, you'll see here that I've used a variable. I've used a variable here. I've said that sum up, uh, calculate total sales, but add in the price adjustment. And then down here via this calculate statement, I've said we'll only calculate for those selected. Okay, and so when I select this, uh, when I hover over this, you'll see the tooltip. Uh, if I can just get out of there, you'll see the tooltip is saying 9.79 million. And that is also reflected over here in the selected sales. So as we as we skip through uh, or click through the different products, you can see that it's changing for whatever selection we've made. And then when there's no selected, it's selecting everything. So what that selected uh, scenario sales is doing is it is calculating the total sales but minus uh well in this case only for uh, the adjusted uh, with the adjusted price change included because what we need to do is then we need to add that we need to add that to what is not selected right and and this not selected portion is being adjusted by eight percent higher so if i come here to this non-selected scenario sales we're going uh, non-selected sales is all sales minus selected sales. And then uh, demand scenarios, we're going non-selected sales 
and then we're adding this demand change to it. So we're getting our non-select sales by, by backwards integrating into it basically. And then we're saying, well, if it's not selected, then adjust it by this demand um, uh, this de demand parameter, which is this 8% here. And then we're putting that inside the calculate statement uh, as well. Now, when we've got those two numbers, we've got the selected scenario and the non-selected scenario. You can see that uh, in this, uh, if I jump down to, if I jump down to my uh, scenario one sales, so this is just, I'm just calling this scenario one, I'm adding the two together. I'm saying selected scenario sales plus non-selected scenario sales because this product one is being adjusted by this and all of these other products are being adjusted by the demand. And via that, I can then work out, well, what's the performance? The performance is the scenario sales divided by all sales, uh, if say if nothing happened, right? And then you have it, that, that is really the core calculations which go into this specific scenario. And as I was working through this and as I was clicking through and I was saying, well, uh, how um, how is that actually impacting the rest of my my calculations? There was I, there was so many thoughts I had around, well, how, how, what, what scenarios could actually play out in real life? And this is a perfect example of many that could happen in real life because for example you might have you might want to drop um you might want to drop your top three products and see what impact that would have so say for instance you dropped your top three products by 10 percent, for example and then you might think well that's actually pretty compelling i'm going to get a i'm going to get a huge amount of people come in for that and so that might increase the demand for all my other products by 15 percent. and we can actually very quickly work out well is that going to be a profit is that going to be profitable for us is it worth doing that discounting? Um, uh, are we, uh, can we, and we can also um, uh, run some sensitivity analysis and say, well, where is our actual break even? And you can actually do that too, just with this current model. Um, you know, if you downloaded this, you could actually incorporate that into your, your analysis as well. So uh, as, I, as I say, this is gonna be available. So if you wanna have a play around and see, um, see how this is all put together, uh, but I wanted to go through this because I just thought, wow, this is an awesome example of how you can use Power BI, the real analytical power behind Power BI. And it's just one derivative of many that you can run with scenario analysis and um, you know, the beginning of many that I will, I will be going through as well. Um, if you want to um, have a think about uh, some other scenarios that, that might actually be um, worthwhile uh, recreating and running through, um, chuck them in the comments below and I'm happy to have a look at them and, and evaluate if it would uh, be something that would be of interest to the um, to the wider audience. Okay, good luck with it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.